you are looking at my 1820 Muzio Clementi square piano. And I intend to make some recordings on this, which I hope you'll find enjoyable. It seemed a good idea to say a few words about Mr. Clementi first, and a little bit about this piano, and talk about its development. It's a square piano, although it is indeed oblong. It's not a <laughs> it's not a square shape at all. And as you look at it, you'll see that it's got six legs and a single sustaining pedal underneath. There's a closer view of it. It has a lid that lifts up, though I tend to play it with the lid down and a flap at the side lifted up and over because it makes a more mellow sound. The instrument itself has five and a half octaves, so it's not anything like a modern piano with 88 keys. Five and a half octaves is perfectly adequate for the music of Mozart and Haydn, and for the most part Clementi as well. The instrument was made in 1820, which means it's having its 200th anniversary this year. And about 10 years ago, a good friend and colleague and expert restorer, Johannes Secker, completely overhauled the instrument. It's always worked. It's been in my family since the early 50s. My father used to keep it in tune, and if the hammers occasionally fell off, they hinged with a little bit of leather, and he would repair them. Looking inside at the action, you will see how the hammers are very, very light indeed. And you'll see that the wires are tuned in pairs. Copper wound wire at the bottom, and then moving up towards the treble. And you'll notice also how the soundboard is very, very small in area. If I put my arm against it, you can see my arm is stretching from one side to the other side. There's the bridge going along, and it has its original soundboard, though it has had a little bit of repair. And to show exactly what's been done, Johannes Secker has put a little sliver of wood just underneath the strings there, and a second sliver up there. These tiny cracks don't in any way upset the sound. The instrument has evidently had a great deal of use over its period of time. If you look at the keys at the end, at the treble, you can see they're absolutely smooth, but when you get to the middle, you can see they are dished and slightly curved in through the wear of many people. One of the nice things about Clementi's pianos is that he always said that he liked to check them out first before he sent them out to their new owner. And because the instrument does have a registration number, we know exactly the year when it was made. This particular instrument is 14762. And there's the number just stamped onto the side. It's been quite interesting development. Clementi came to England at the age of 14. He was born in 1752 in Rome, and he died 80 years later in Evesham, but he's buried in Westminster Abbey. He was very well known in his time, a fine pianist known to Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, and our own William Shield. And coincidentally, he's buried in Westminster Abbey, very, very close to where Shield himself is buried, who just died a few years earlier. Out of interest, you might like to look at an earlier piano made by the company of Longman and Brodrib. It doesn't have a pedal, it's got a pedestal. It's only five octaves, and it doesn't have a pedal because it has hand stops, which operate levers that listen, lift off the dampers from the treble, the bass, and a third lever, this one here, dampens the sound. In 1795, Longman and Brodrip decided that they would make the pianos slightly wider, from five octaves to five and a half octaves. 
And this was their undoing because the extra cost of the ivory, the need to develop the pianos further, meant that they couldn't continue in business. And so the company came up on the market and Muzio Clementi bought the company in 1795 and was extremely successful. There's his nameplate. What's interesting is that the address is 26 Cheapside, exactly the same address that you will see on the nameplate of the earlier piano. So a nice little bit of linked up history. So I propose to play music by Haydn, Mozart and Clementi himself, starting with the Clementi.